so we've got in today a um, it's a, like an internal battery it goes inside a uh, Carrera Cross City E I think it's called um, anyway the case is made by Ranchin uh, and it's a Rapier IR3 by the looks of it um, takes a standard Ranchin lock and key uh, with its little cut out on one side so it's different from the high long stuff anyway this customer's um, sort of smushed the battery connector a bit hard to see but it's it's smushed um, so I thought we'd open it up take a look inside uh, see if we can replace the connector if I've got a spare one and um, just go from there you've got some screws around the outside it's two um, if you do it that way up it'll leave the nuts behind Four. So four screws around the edge, and then you've got a tab here and a tab here that holds it together. Uh, to undo those, you just want oh, screws come out. Let's get these screws out of here. I think they're all the same length. any of it. Um, to undo these you've just got to flick that up and you see the case pops open there. Keep that side popped, put a little pry bar in there or something if you need and then pop that side. Don't break anything then. Case comes off so there's cables up in here that join these two halves together so you want to pop this end up and over. Uh, I think it's actually held together by these as well. Come to think of it. Uh, we're going to leave, it is a bit cracked here, the case. Let's just take them both out, be on the safe side. Oh, there it goes. So you can pop this end of the case off and then it will fold away a bit. You see someone's sort of done a bit of a repair job on this. There's um, evidence of a lot of uh, like CA cyanacrylate glue in there. Uh, fuse is intact, which is good. So there is an internal fuse if you find it's uh, not putting out any power. Let's see if this has got any voltage. One in there. One in there. Turn the switch on. Thirty-eight point two three, which is you know on. Let's get our thirty-six volt charger here. And check that, make sure it's charging. Not charging. Oh, it is charging. It just changed its mind. Fair enough. Leave that on for a minute while we look at this. So it looks like it is putting out power, uh, but quite possibly just this connector needs replacing. I'll see if I've got a spare one of these lying around. Aha, uh -huh. I think this is a replacement, identical replacement. Um, to double check but it looks very very similar connectors on this one are actually loose which is not really great but if we take the fuse out of here it shouldn't matter and of course turn the output off fuse out see what we can do about getting this all out of here Someone's obviously done a bit of a prior repair attempt, though. Let's 
so it'll be might be a touch destructive and have a bit of a hard time seeing what I'm doing here but I'm just trying to pry the old connector out just to try and fit the new one I mean the glue they've used is good at least well done them ah, there she goes uh, no they're different sizes this one will just fall through the hole okay I mean it doesn't even look unfixable that plastic's a bit damaged there that's a bit mm. you never know you might just be able to sort it out this pin here is bent together I wonder if I can zoom you in ha huh. That'll do, won't it? This bin here. This should be open like that so that the connector can then on the bike side can slide in between the pins like that and make contact. And this one is not like that. But it might be able to be bent back perhaps. Got my pick. Or not. I think with the amount of glue on here, it's never going to come apart again either. actually make quite a good contact like that and then this plastic in the middle here is bent over in a way that's not really conducive to being very helpful uh, probably just want to get a Stanley and just sort of cut that flush Yeah, that's given us. Can actually see the connector now. This one, the positive, still quite crushed. Up at the back here. Hmm. Looks like this top edge has rolled around. Like I think this side is crushed in, and. Uh, that's what's done this. It certainly is. Hmm. Don't know if that's going to be able to be bent back into shape to be honest it's a bit a bit cream crackered no probably not I'll have another dig round so I can find the other connector hmm couldn't find the other connector uh, but this is the part of the bike that it's basically you know, got to go into and you can see that it just will not 
go in there. It will fit in the uh, negative side just fine, but I don't think that's ever going to squeeze its way into the positive. Um, now, to take the bottom out of this connector, to disassemble it, you'd normally disassemble it along this seam here. Uh, it's just so covered in glue that uh, I don't know if that's possible or if it's just going to explode. This sort of piece here should go that way. Um, not really much I can do apart from give it a go I suppose. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's actually obviously we'd try and replace the connector if we could, but given the fact that we can't find one. get one. You know, it's it's a little limited what you can do. Oh, there you go. That should probably go into the bike now with a bit of a bit of a wiggle. Oh, I believe. So that sits there. so you can have a proper look like that this would be what it sits on on the bike and it, it does I mean it starts to go in it's better than it was I suppose let's give that a go